Thank you, Caroline. And we're now joined by the recruiting coordinator and the special teams coordinator here at Notre Dame, Coach Brian Pullian. Coach, once again, congratulations and thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Appreciate the opportunity to be here. Well, another tremendous class in the door, and recruiting's always really a team effort, but for some of the people who don't follow recruiting as much, how could you explain your responsibilities as the recruiting coordinator? Well, it's no different than being the offensive coordinator, the defensive coordinator. It's, it's my job to see uh, our recruiting board through the head coach's eyes. It's to keep everybody pointed in the same direction. We have different facets of the recruiting program from on-campus visits to the graphics to um, the evaluation phase of recruiting. So it's my job to kind of make sure that everybody is uh, running uh, smoothly in those areas and, and just kind of point the ship in, in the right direction. Ultimately, I work very closely with both coordinators and with the head coach in terms of the evaluation piece of it. But often, you know, the guys on, on any specific side of the ball see the world through, you know, their vacuum. And, and uh, it's my job to work with Coach Kelly and make sure that we're seeing the big picture and addressing our needs uh, in any given class as we move forward. So with running that and putting it all together, how great of a day is this to see it all come to fruition? It's the culmination of a lot of hard work by a lot of a lot of people, and it's really neat to share it with the prospects, to visit with they and the, them and their families, and and have a have the opportunity to see those smiles. And we forget we become a little bit jaded, right? That you know this is my twenty third signing signing day so we become a little bit jaded to it but it's good to be reminded of how special a day it is for the young men and their families and the excitement and you know a scholarship to the University of Notre Dame is a pretty big deal and for a lot of our guys you're talking about the first ones to go to college and their families and they come from you know very diverse backgrounds and to see them get the opportunity to come to a place like this pretty cool. Well, certainly a great moment for all of these young men. Something that's been more of a recent development in recruiting with the dawn of social media is these prospects actually get to know each other a little bit better before they get to campus. How great is that for you as a recruiting coordinator, knowing that some of these players have relationships before they even get here and enroll at Notre Dame? It's a very powerful tool, and and you have guys like Drew Pine that's been committed for a long time and was kind of a, a ringleader of, of this class um, and, and others like him, when they develop those bonds, it can really help you gain a lot of positive momentum. And frankly, they recruit one another because these guys want to be surrounded by the best possible players. Um, so from that point of it, it's pretty cool. And they've certainly done a great job of that. And you mentioned being surrounded by the best possible players. But at a place like Notre Dame, obviously academics are very important. Character is very important. How do you determine if a particular prospect is a good fit for Notre Dame? Well, fit is the single most important thing that we we have to gauge. And um, it's not just the academics. There's a cultural fit here. And what we have learned over time is that um, very talented players that don't fit here will never reach their true potential. Guys that do fit here sometimes will outperform what we thought they were they were capable of. But, um, you know, the first step in that process is to be very transparent about here's who we are. Here's what the expectations are. There are not going to be online classes here. The expectation is that you are going to be in the classroom setting with your peers. There's no football dorm here. You're going to live with the student body um, on campus. Um, all the things that make us unique. I'm, I'm not saying they make us better or worse. They just make us unique. So at the very beginning of this relationship that we build with the prospect and their families, we are very transparent about this is not a 55,000 student state institution. And this is very demanding academic curriculum and this is a faith-based institution we don't hide from any of those things so that when a young man decides to pick us they pick us knowing full well who we are and what we stand for and then as we develop these relationships if we have concerns about fit we've got to have the courage we've got to have the conviction to maybe step away from a good player um 
you know, knowing that, hey, this might not be the best match here. And and that's hard to do sometimes because obviously you admire somebody's physical abilities and, and, and God-given gifts, but if they don't fit, it's not going to work, and you got to be able to, to walk away from that. And I think in the last three or four years, we, we've done a better job of getting back to that, and, and I think you can see that in our retention. We're not a school that's got 12 guys that jump into the transfer portal at the end of the year because guys are picking this place for the right reasons. Well, it's certainly a great group coming in, and all of them tremendous fits here to Notre Dame. And you're a school that really recruits nationally and even in this case, internationally. internationally. <laughs> <laughs> what does it say about Notre Dame to be able to have, you know, more than 10 different states represented and also a foreign country with Alexander Ehrensberger coming from Germany? Well, as it relates to Alexander, I was teasing Coach um, Coach Elston, who took that flight in the springtime to go evaluate him and, you know, the big, you know, the big deal was, boy, that that's a long flight. I still think uh, Chicago O'Hare to Honolulu is a little longer. <laughs> I think we're going to, we might have to settle a bet with that one. Um, the reach of Notre Dame, the brand of Notre Dame, how, how many places could, could do that. And I think frankly, the growth of American football uh, from a worldwide standpoint, as a special teams coach, we're seeing this influx of Australians in the college football. Uh, the, the punter from USC is a 24 year old Australian that, that started in, in Australian rules football, um, the growth of our game in general. But when you look at, I, I think our tally today will be 15 or 16 different States. Um, a, a student athlete from Germany, um, Chase Claypool comes from the Western part of Canada our brand is recognizable. We're not a regional school. And we used to say in recruiting we're a national brand, but in reality we've become an international brand. And and um, that offers a, a unique opportunity for us to literally, literally recruit ocean to ocean. Um, in this class we have two from New Jersey and one from Hawaii and a lot of places in between. And there aren't very many schools in the country that can uh, make that reach and, and do so successfully. So uh, it, it's, it's, a, it's a powerful brand, and it's one that it makes recruiting here a lot of fun because we have such a, a diverse group. But so is our student body. I mean, 50 states and I think nearly 70 foreign countries. So the, the, we, we tell recruits all the time, we come from everywhere. Our students come from everywhere. Our team comes from everywhere. The one that one thing that binds us all together is th the love for our ladies' university. And that's definitely true across this university. And, Coach, we mentioned at the top, you're the special teams coordinator. John Shannon just won the Manley Award. Yeah. This year you have Alex Peich coming in at the long snapper position. What can you tell us about him, and how is it different recruiting a specialist versus any other position on the field? Well, I, I, um, I compare recruiting a specialist to recruiting a quarterback. Um, you're not going to take one every single year. You're going to take one when there's a need. The film part of the evaluation is important, but you have to see them work in person. So this is two years in a row now. Last year, we, we signed Jay Bramlett as a true freshman, and, and that was a world tour of all over the country and evaluating guys in person and seeing if we could find the right guy. And we certainly did so with Jay. I think has been uh, really, really good as a true freshman. And, and that was part of the challenge, too, now with, with Alex is – not only do we need somebody who can do it and handle the bright lights of Notre Dame, but we need somebody who can do it as a true freshman because uh, obviously John's going to go on and do bigger and better things uh, away from football. So um, he, he's an elitely skilled, it's a very unique talent, it's a very um, specific skill that he's got. Um, plus, I think he's a pretty good athlete, and I think that was really a separating factor for John Shannon. He's a great snapper, but was a factor in coverage and made a lot of plays, and I believe Alex will be able to do that as he gets a little older and stronger, but um, got a great demeanor. He's so even-keeled. Reminds me of Jay Bramlett and that demeanor that, that he, he's, not up, he's not too up, not too down, and that's really important for us in terms of 
of what we do, we got to have a very calm demeanor, which is ironic coming from me because <laughs> on game day I'm running around like a nut job. Well, we're certainly excited to see what he can do at the long snapper position and what all of these young men can do. Coach Pullian, thank you so much for the time today, and congratulations. Thank you very much. Go Irish. Well, thanks to Coach Brian Pullian for his time. Coming up next, we have a FaceTime with an offensive line prospect, Mike Carmody, who signed this morning.